talakay natin ay structures, okay? So, napakarami. Uh, uh, I cannot uh, possibly present to you every structure in Revelation. There are many, from beginning to end. From beginning to end. Letter, apocalyptic letter. Do you remember that? Huh? One verse one, twenty-two, verse twenty-two. Structure, chiasmus. Within this chiasmus are little chiasmus. From beginning to end. <laughs> I've been telling you about. Uh, the structures of the trumpets and the bowls, the structures of uh, the symmetries. These are judgments. The trumpets and the bowls, they are judgments, no? But the symmetry tells us that in the judgments, there is order, there is design, there is purpose. Here, here on earth, we think the judgments are chaotic, chaos. But from God's point of view, there is order. There is order in the judgments. There is order in chaos. Magulo, magulo, magulo. Di niya alam kung ano puno dulo, magulo. Pero sa Diyos, may order yan. May order yung gulo. <laughs> I was watching the fight of, Tur- of uh, Pacquiao and Turman. Akala mo yung mga suntok ni, ni Pacquiao, kung ano-ano lang. But if you understand boxing, may purpose, may design, may strategy. Light my steps. May purpose. Hindi lang bara-bara bay. Ako kung lalaban ako, baka bara-bara. No? Bara lang, kung tamaan, tamaan. No? Pero sa buksingero, professional, may purpose yun. May design, may strategy. The judgments of God, okay, strat- may strategy, may plan, may purpose. Yung tinatamaan, akala mo, chaos, gulo. Hindi niya alam kung saan siya. No? Ha? Pero yung nanununtok, may... may Tignan nyo, there is chaos. Okay. Chaos. From God's point of view, there is order. There is order in chaos. Somebody wrote a book, Order in Chaos. Judgments of God. Order in chaos. Okay. Now, we said that in, in chiasmos, it's a literary technique. It's a literary technique of repetition. A repetition of words or ideas. Okay? The repetition establishes a pattern. The pattern, okay, does not need to be Equal in distance. No. Doesn't mean the distance. So long as there is a repetition. Sometimes one, 
repetition is there. The next repetition is two. Okay? Doesn't matter the distance because this is a literary technique. And John is doing a technique. Okay? It's a technique. For instance, now this will be the last uh, structure of that kind. No? For instance, uh, I have been troubled. No, I have been okay. Na mag English. I've been troubled by the 144,000. Huh? In chapter seven, you read about the 144,000, and then you read about the 144,000 again in chapter 14. 7, 14, no? So, if you go to the books, some authors will be confused. Wh why, why, why is there a, a, a similar 144,000, 144, what is happening? Okay, well, here is, here is the problem. If you are reading 144,000, 144, in the text, you will have a difficulty understanding the meaning in the text. <coughs> this is the text. Chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oops, there is 144,000 here. Chapter 7, right? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oops, 144,000 here. And so on. Okay. So the commentators on the text, on the text, they come upon 144,000 and then more chapters. Then another 144,000. Their problem is, where did this come from? Because it's too far away from here. There is a text intervening, eh? intervening text. There is no connection between this text and that text. No connection. There is no connection between this text and that text. No connection. That is why they are troubled. You are troubled if you are studying it in the text. But if you are studying it in terms of the chiastic structure, no problem. Because you are seeing a pattern, right? It's a pattern of repetition. So now, you have 144,000 here, and another 144,000 there. A pattern of repetition. Therefore, there is a connection. Okay, what is the connection? Well, before the 144,000, okay, what happens? There is an angel that says, Stop! Right? Stop! Do not harm the sea. We must mark that the, the, the children of God or something like that on their foreheads, right? Right? Seven. Seven verse three. Do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we put a seal on the foreheads of the servants of God.
stop. Right? We have to mark the servants of God. And then after that, he will have the victims, the multitude who have gone to heaven. Right after the text about the 144,000, uh, verses 5 to from the tribe of Judah, from the tribe, from the tribe, okay, until verse 8, and from the tribe of Benjamin. See, that's the end, right? And then the following verse, after this, I look, and there before me was a great multitude. They were the, they came from the great tribulation. The tribulation is finished. They are now victors, okay? They are now, so after that, you have victors in heaven. All right? Okay, now, when you come here, chapter 14, let us see if we follow, if we see the same pattern. Okay. In chapter 14, before, before the 144,000, in chapter 13, verses 16, verse 16, it says here, he also forced everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on his right hand and on his forehead. See that? Chapter 14 to 13. Magkasama sila. She hears the difficulty. When Revelation was written, and, and the same thing with the, all the books of the Bible, no? there were no chapters and verses. Now, in our Bibles, we have chapters and verses. And that gives us a problem. Because chapter 13 seems to, you know, it's an end. And chapter 14 is the beginning. Now, there is part of chapter 13 that is part of chapter 14. Okay? So disregard the chapter and verse. Disregard that. Mark of forehead and arm. And then mention of 144,000. Okay? Well, what happens after that, in chapter 15, huh, you have victors in heaven. See this structure here? Same pattern. Okay? We're talking about the same 144,000 here. Not necessarily of the nation of Israel. Not necessarily. Okay. Now, listen to this one. It is the pattern, okay, that brings them together. It does not have, I mean, the, the distance. Well, I am. It's the pattern that is important. If you find something here, that you find something there, even though they are chapters apart, they belong together. Amen? They belong, just like the symmetry, the theophany of the seven trumpet, lightnings, rumblings, thunder, earthquake, hail. Seven trumpet. Okay? Chapter 11. 
chapter 16. Theophany, lightning, rumblings, thunders, earthquake, hail. You see that? They belong together. Symmetry, structure. Symmetry, structure. As far as I'm concerned, no? This is the way to view the 144,000. Now, there is another thing that I will tell you. <laughs> and I'm telling the audience on video. I used to think, akala ko noon, huh? 144,000 were sealed in order to protect them from danger. But when I saw that, I said, nah. They were sealed because they were chosen to be martyrs. Remember, in the seals, seals, seals one to four, five, seals six. In seal five, seal five, the souls under the altar, they were crying, oh, how long, sovereign Lord, holy and true, will you avenge our blood? upon those who dwell on the earth. Like I said, relax. Stay there for a while. Okay? Until the rest of your brethren who were to be killed just as you were is completed. And then... 144,000. And then, martyrs. What I'm saying here is because of this structure, the structure gives it Okay. Because of this structure, these 144,000, they were sealed. They were sealed not to protect them okay, from being killed. The sealing was for the purpose of like they were selected. They were selected okay, to become martyrs like these guys here. So you, 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 will, you will discover a lot when you see structures. And when you discover a lot because of the structures, it will change the way you look at Revelation. Okay? And when you see it like that, okay, you should be willing to leave behind what you previously thought you understood. And accept what structures are telling you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Kung nung araw binabasa mo yung text, ganyan ang pag-intindi mo. Ngayon, may structures pala sa ilalim niyan. At nagsasabi ng iba, o oh, anong, anong gagawin mo? Anong gagawin mo? Because these structures make a larger point. Iyan ang, ano niya, purpose ng structure. Okay? So, now, this is how I view the 144,000 in terms of their respective structures. They have the same structures, the same. 
and that's no matter how distant one is from the other because of the structure they are together Kanina, we, we talk about martyrs, martyrdom. And we went from like chapter 1 verse 8, 17, 18. The first martyr, no? Until we went to chapter 20. Verse 4 to 4 to 6. Martyrs, 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 martyrs. Huh? One. Okay. <clears throat> now let's talk about See, the martyrs happen here. Huh? They are now in heaven. They are now in heaven. Where, where, where was Jesus martyred? On earth. Where was Antipas' mother? On earth. Okay. Now, when you read 24 to 6, I saw thrones on which were seated those who had been given authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony for Jesus and because of the word of God. They had not worshipped the beast or his image and had not received his mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reign with Christ. Where? On earth? It started on earth, it ends in heaven. Okay?